I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? Gorski signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? Uh, not who, but what. It's weird. Dr. Gorski hardly ever parted with it. With what? Ah, oh, you're talking about the teleprobe. Uh, yes. I located the probe. It's lying on the ground, inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe can prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. It wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I, I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow shadow another sandstorm i guess all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us Good. 
I've got it on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. No data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Luna. L. U. N. A. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. <laughs> I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation area. The rest is underground. Please explore the area thoroughly. Just do as Dr. Gorski. Use the detector. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. of it. I guess this is the fourth point, where the massive structure was mentioned. Our flag should be at the top. And is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. It's certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. Ah, 
I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Kovel noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. It. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Mm, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor. <sighs> but when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can it fly for this long? Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. <laughs> Of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man, often faulty. Problem. Something serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> can you imagine us? Proteinaceous creatures developing so quickly, sir. No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory? Send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah. That's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh. Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, 
What am I supposed to be hearing? What's the point? Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Dr. Gorski, are you here somewhere? These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They can be singular, Though in some locations, they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion, Yes, yes, I understand. These are not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. You may lose another crew member. If you think so. Going to the doctor. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, oh, very good. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right.
I'm inside. And? How is it? For now, we have to assume that we are left with only one Nanda. Is it that bad? You don't need to be a technician to see that Beetle's lost its buzz. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm taking Hopper out of here. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. Beautiful here. an object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east. Straight to the camp. Copy that. Heading east. and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. You say yes. The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <laughs> Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. Whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is a that. Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This rate will reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't wonder with that. We found a convenient passage. Excellent. Please speed ahead. 
still have a long way to go. Well then, you should save your breath, Astrogator. structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh, I feel nauseous. Suddenly. <laughs> That's not it. I feel darkness. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. You found them in time. How about their reactions? Have they regained consciousness? I mean, maybe one of them said something. Uh, unfortunately, they're still unresponsive. I'll let you know if anything changes. I'm doing an EEG on them right now. Guess I know where Corsica was going. I confirm, Corsica was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. Ah. But why hasn't he yet? Ah. Going down after him. Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes, I am considering that as a possibility. Jack, uh, uh, that report. Uh, one sec. How oh, about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? No, not a chance. Way. I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. 
Yeah, we don't know that yet, sir. He could keep going even with injuries. Well, I'm not hanging here forever, if we still haven't come up with anything. There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Astrogator, as much as I love complex analysis, I'm really sick of all this hanging. <laughs> of course. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right, let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Two meters forward. Stop, that's enough. You have a really good eye. Exactly two meters. <sighs> it's the maneuver. You could say so. I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. 